Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you how you can create a variable helix uh, pitch in the Kitty V5 in wireframe and surface design workbench. So this is asked by one of my subscribers and as you can see over here is a helix with a variable pitch. You can see it begins with a very small pitch and ends in a very large pitch. So basically this is being done by using the law. So I'll just take another workbench, another file and I'll just create a helix. So what we normally do is just we go for the normal helix command. I'll just select the helix, the starting point, the axis and you give the height. So as you can see here if you want to really uh, you know give some variation in the pitch you cannot do that uh, with without using the law over here so you do you don't really have an option the starting uh, the starting height the ending height and all that so this can be easily done using the law command so just go for the law option and in here go for the s type and the starting value and the ending value so just give a starting value of uh, 1 and an ending value of uh, 10 just click on OK and you can see here that uh, the the ending value is 10 here and this is 1 over here so what you can really do now is just increase the number of revolutions so when it's revolution 1 you can see the start is here 1 and the end is here so as you increase the revolution 2 you can see the ending value is 10 starting value is 1 so if you keep on increasing how many how many of a revolution you do the starting value will be 1 and the ending value will be 10 so this is how you can uh, use the s law and uh, keep the uh, uh, variation of uh, the pitch in the helix command so i hope you enjoyed this and uh, i hope uh, the subscriber who asked me this doubt uh, the, the, the doubt the doubt is clear for him and if you have any uh, any more doubts or clarifications regarding this topic please comment on my video and I'll be getting back to you and you can also write to me at ketia.pro.user at gmail.com ketia.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting in touch with you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching and stay tuned